Hello boys and girls, my name is Danny Mac and welcome to the second edition of the Danny Mac 3D Challenge. Now, just before we get into it, I quickly want to apologise to the three entries to the previous challenge that I missed out. If you saw my last video, you might have noticed I ended it with a short slideshow of entries to the challenge. Now, unfortunately, due to some email mix-ups, I managed to miss three of them off, so let's check these out now. Again, sorry to the artist that created these, it was just a little accident. And starting from this challenge, I'll just include the top seven pieces, uh, my favourite seven pieces, which you'll also find on my Instagram, along with some honourable mentions in my Instagram stories. Now, for this week's piece, as the title suggests, the theme was Hack a Pinup. Now, this is really tricky because it's almost an oxymoron. Pinups are revealing by nature, whereas hackers are concealing. So I decided it would be best to lean further in one direction than try to hit them both equally. Uh, this is fine by the way, if you want to take part in the current or upcoming challenges, the themes are open to interpretation. Uh, just check out the link to Discord below to find out what theme we're working on at the moment, or join us on the Twitch live streams. Now, the idea behind the concept was, I figured I would take a non-hacker character, like from a movie or a game, and attempt to turn them into a pinup. Uh, while we were sharing ideas on Discord, someone posted this character, a hacker Zoe, a skin from League of Legends. Now, I don't know much about League of Legends, but I like the look of the design. Now, of course, to turn her into a pinup, I'd have to make her a bit older since she looks about 10. I also played around with her design a little bit, such as replacing the roller blades with roller skates to hit the pinup idea a little bit better. But I must say I'm really not happy with the result this time. Uh, I struggled quite a lot creating the head for this character and ended up going round and round in circles for quite some time. Uh, if you look closely at the footage you might notice the head uh, changes quite significantly a couple of times because there was so much footage that I had to chop huge chunks out of it so that this time lapse wasn't like three hours long. And since it took so long trying to create a head I didn't really have enough time to make the rest of the piece look better. And in the end, I was largely disappointed, but it's fine because I still learned from it. Now, one thing I learned is to not retop or too early. Now, if you followed me closely for a while, you might know that I tend to retop or very early into a piece and have been suggesting people do this for quite some time, actually. And the reason that I do that is because the low subdivision levels give you a lot of control over the mesh. However, I have recently come to realise that while Dynamesh does make you lose some control over the mesh, it also frees you up from certain restrictions created by a retopologized mesh. And basically, I've just started taking a different approach as outlined by fellow YouTuber and incredible artist, a speed chat. I'm not sure what his real name is, but you'll find him linked below and I would highly recommend checking out that guy because he is incredible and yeah, just go and check him out. However, this doesn't mean you shouldn't retopologize your meshes because clean topology allows for a really clean mesh, but fear not. Z-Wrap is going to make retopologizing your characters a thing of the past. Now, I briefly spoke about this in my last video, and since then, the lovely folk over at R3DS sent me a license for Z-Wrap, and I'm loving it. Basically, what you do is you have your sculpted mesh on one side and a mesh with clean topology on the other. Uh, you can dig up an old model or grab my base mesh from my retopology back on Gumroad, linked below. Uh, then what you do is place points on each mesh that correspond with each other. And basically what you're doing is, is you're telling the software where you want the points on the clean topology to wrap around that on the sculpted mesh, if that makes sense. And then the software just wraps it automatically and you're laughing. And you might need to do a small amount of cleanup afterwards, you might not. But either way, you save yourself so much time and retopology for characters is just something I don't need to worry about anymore. Such a great little tool. Check it out, it's linked below. Anyway, I think that's probably enough rambling from me. I do keep intending to film these little chats, but I'm not sure I'm ready to reveal my lockdown haircut just yet. 
Well, if you really want to see it, make sure you check out our next live stream over at Twitch. The thing that we're working on during the recording of this video is Nerdy Witch, and everyone seems to be having a lot of fun with it. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another pleasant I am going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything. I like the way you're thinking. I don't really care about the music on the dance floor. I don't really mind all the smoke is in the bathroom. I don't care at all, baby. You got my attention. So you were saying, oh no, I don't see the logic of things. It's quite a lonely world that we're living in. No, oh, baby, you are something special, I'm sure. Everything makes total sense when you're next to me. times and not a drink and I'll go anywhere the way you smile like a flash in the universe you are illuminating I don't really care about the people in the bar line I don't really mind all the who goes who and stage dives I don't care So you were saying, I don't see the logic of things. It's quite a lonely world that we're living in. No, oh, baby, you are something special, I'm sure. Everything makes total sense when you're next to me. told you i could never let you go i am not so sure you believe me but if i mean to show you i will never let you go no i don't see the logic of things it's quite a I'm sure everything makes total sense when you're next to me. Oh, 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 oh. Everything makes total sense. Oh, when you're next to, when you're next to.